hello guys welcome back so in this tutorial we are going to be making the next part for our range assembly so to start click on the top plane and draw a sketch and make sure the sketch is on the top plane and draw your circle and the dimension for this circle will be 0 0.925 0 0.925 and once you have that and I'm going to change my unit to three decimal places so you can see the actual dimensions I click OK so 0.925 and now go to your feature extrude and select extrude by the mid plane and you want to extrude the 0.370 and you should have something like that and click OK. So the next thing we want to do is on the right plane, um, draw a sketch and just somewhere up here, draw a line that is coincident with that top edge and also draw another line so the center point something like that and make that line a construction line and add the dimension from this line to this first point make that dimension point 409 and add the angular dimension from the top edge to that line and the angle will be 11 so this this sketch is fully almost fully defined so what we need to do is just close the sketch so you can just draw any shape around it to fully close it and let's fully define it by just adding any dimension to this two part to fully define it so at the end you should have something like that something like this and now what we are going to do is revolve cut it so select revolve cut and click OK so now what we want to do is mirror this down so we select the mirror on um, the top plane and that was why we extruded this by the mid plane because it makes it easy for us to mirror it down we don't have to create a new plane and we select the top plane and the feature to mirror we select that cut and click OK so that's done good so the next thing is go normal to your top plane so you should have something like this and select the top face and click sketch draw a sketch on the top face draw a circle and add the dimension to that circle which is going to be 0.867 and now add a center a line from the center point from the origin point just going up something like this and make that line the construction line and add another line I mean just add an angular line something like that so so we have this line make that one the construction line so pretty much your angular line the bottom should be should be on this line so the bottom should be coincident with this line so once you do that, now let's select this line, hold the, hold the control key, select that line. And while still holding the control key, select your center line and it should give you this symmetry, symmetric. And you want to click that to make these two lines symmetric. Then we'll add a dimension to it, an angular dimension to make it 91. So now that is fully defined. Again, we are going to close that sketch off. So we are able to extrude it so it doesn't really matter what dimension you add to this part just make sure that your sketch is fully defined see how anytime you have a circle and you see how the circle is jagged the way you can improve that is you can go into the settings and under the document properties you can click on the image quality and if you increase this up it will straighten the edge of that circle so now you can see the circle is much finer. So I usually move it up, but I don't quite move it into the red because then your computer might start going slow. 
So we have that profile, then we want to extrude cut it down. And we want to extrude cut it through all. And click OK. So we have something like that. Now let's add a fillet. Um, our fillet will be 0 0.003. And we'll add it to this edge, that edge, and that second, the mid edge, and click OK. So the next thing we are going to do is click on the pattern, circular pattern, and we want to select the perimeter and just select any circular edge. I'll select that one. You can also select this one. It doesn't really matter. Um, the number of patterns you want is 48 and you want to select equal spacing. And the feature we want to pattern is the extrude cut and the fill and the fillet. So you should have extrude cut and fill it one in there and click OK. And you should have that gear. And we are done with the difficult part now. Let's just add the rest of our part. So we'll go normal to the top plane again. And draw a sketch on this face. And draw a circle. Add a dimension to it and it would be 0 0.540 and what we want to do is extrude that up 0 0.540 let me make sure yes and we want to extrude that up point, point 0.160 0 0.160 click ok on the bottom part you want to draw another sketch and you can press normal to draw a circle and add a dimension to it and that will be 0.542 and you want to extrude it extrude it um, down and that will be 0.1 and click OK and now on this top face draw another sketch normal 2 and this time you want to draw a rectangle, something like that. Select this line, hold the control key, select this line and make them equal to each other. And now you can add a dimension to this part, which is going to be, um, the dimension for that one would be 0 0.370. So now let's just add a, if, um, a chamfer to it. So where is the chamfer? Where's my fillet? Right here, drop down, chamfer. And you want to do a distance, a distance chamfer, which is going to be um, 0 0.01. And just select those two points. Select that point. Select this point and select that point. And um, our sketch broke, so because we added that chamfer, which is okay. So we can just add the dimensions to it, to this edge, from this edge to that edge, which will be the same thing, 0 0.370. So from that line to that line, and your chamfer should be 0 0.01. And once you have that less, um, extrude that feature extrude it up and you want to extrude it up 0 0.45 0 0.45 and, and click OK so you should have something like that now so that is extrude up 0.45 and the next thing we want to do is um, right click on the right plane normal to and draw a sketch on that right plane and also draw a line that is angled somewhere down this way draw another line that is on the origin point up so the line is kind of the center line on the origin point 
and now we want to add a dimension from this point to that line is going to be 0.154 and the dimension for this line is going to be 33 it's like an angular dimension is 33 and just close that shape again so draw it and close it somewhere here and and just add a dimension to it to fully close it any any dimension is good as long as it's sticking out close it and now we want to revolve cut it revolve cut around hmm no we don't want to revolve cut it what do we want to do we want to hmm yes yes we i think we want we, yes we want to revolve cut it but what we want to do is let's delete this dimension and let's just delete this dimension as well so we can drag this out so it's something like that yes we want to revolve cut it so drag it out so that way let me try the revolve cut yes you want to drag it out so it's something like that so that way when you revolve cut it it's fully cut into all your part so once i verify that i can cancel and just add a dimension to it so make that dimension 0.24 and make this 0.18 so that is good and now we can revolve cut it so you should have something like that that's exactly what i'm going for yeah so it is the revolve cut so we are almost done all we need to do now is let's add a chamfer to this edge the chamfer is going to be um, 0 0.015 and it's going to be an angle this angle distance and you select all four corners and click on um, um no we don't want to add it to all four corners sorry i don't know what's wrong with me i'm actually i need to stay focused so you want to add the chamfer to this edge so which is 0 0.01 not all four corners from this from this edge and select your fillet and we want to add a fillet to this edge or this four edge and the fillet will be 0 0.02 so that's what we want and now we are going to add another fillet which is going to be 0 0.005 and we are going to add it to this edge that edge and this edge and click OK so the next thing we need to do is cut the hole in our part and we'll be done so now going number two let me just section it to make sure i'm in the right so going in this number to this section so what plane is that on the right plane and what we want to do is select this top face for now sketch number two draw a circle and add a dimension to that circle and it would be 0 0.17 0 0.17 and now feature extrude cut and true all that's the first thing we're going to do click that face again draw another sketch number two and circle and this circle will be the dimension for it will be point, point 0.25 and we want to extrude this circle 0.5 extrude cut it 0.5 0.5 and we just have one more to do and we are done with this part so normal to make sure you are normal to the right plane it doesn't really matter because all the four sides are the same but 
make sure you are normal to the right plane so it should look something like that and click your sketch and section this for now so you can see what we are doing so what you want to do is draw a line somewhere in here draw a line just draw a line somewhere in here something like this So once you have the line, draw a dimension from this bottom line to the origin point and it will be 0.8. It's probably going to break. Um, so you know what, you know what, delete this, delete this um, dimension and select the bottom edge because I, I guess it was the way I made my node, I'm referencing my node. So make sure your dimension is going from the bottom edge to that edge and is going to be 0.9. That's what we want. This is exactly what we want. So 0.9 from the bottom edge, not that origin point. And now make this a construction line and select this two line. So when you have this as, as a center line, you dimension from that line to that line and drag it down, it would make it a diameter and you want it to be a diameter of 1.8. And you want to go from, add another dimension from this edge to that back face is going to be 0.29. So you have something like that, 0.29. And now just add a dimension here just to fully define it. This last dimension doesn't really matter as long as it's sticking out and you do revolve cut. And it's asking, it, does, it wants to close the sketch. You select yes and click OK. So we have that cut in there. And when I unsection it, and that is that part. And we are done with this part. Make sure you save it and you can add an appearance to it. Um, just pick something, a metal, um, a steel, polished steel. I'll add it to this entire part. We are turn on my graphics. So you see it shining. And that is it. We are done with this part. Make sure you save it. And I will see you in the next tutorial for the next part in the assembly. Thank you and bye.